Hello viewers, in this video, I am going to make a smart compass. So let's get started. So what is a smart compass? So let me give a short note on the smart compass. So nowadays, we are having many smart appliances right from our home itself like a smart TV, a smart security camera, a smart plug and a smart light. So let's make a smart compass too, where we can control the radius of the compass by using our smartphone instead. Let's make take a normal compass. Here we want to adjust the radius of the compass by using our smartphone. To do so, the pencil holder must be rotated in anti-clockwise. For that moment, the pencil holder must be attached to the servo motor. Now the first step is to disassemble the compass. Now take compass needle and pencil holder. Now enlarge the hole of the compass needle up to the given black mark. Now drill a hole through this black point on the pencil holder. After enlarging the hole, attach the part 1 or compass needle to the servo motor by using arrow light so that it remains stationary. Now just attach part 2 or pencil holder to the servo stick by using two screws, one in the drill hole and another one in the compass default hole. The screw used to fit must be long in length as as to fit the screw with the servo also. So now tighten the screw 1 in the compass default hole. Now pencil holder can be moved in anti-clockwise along with the servo stick. After completing the process, it must look something like this. Now the next step is to attach the compass to ESB8226 on Node MCU to control the compass using Blink over Wi-Fi. For that, I have searched for how to control a server using Blink over Wi-Fi. Then I have got this amazing project at Insectables.com. This project was made by Prakar R6. Go and check out his project, link in description. I have followed all the steps given here and completed the project. The compass worked very well. When I initially on the ESB8226, the compass rotates to 90 degrees. The movement of the compass is accurate. The main problem here is the power source. We can't get USB power source everywhere we go, so instead of this USB cable, I am using a battery source. To eradicate this problem, I have made a PCB where we can connect the board to a battery and charge the battery also. I'll give circuit diagram of this PCB board in the description. Let's connect all components to the PCB. First put ESB8226 on the PCB board. Now next connect the compass to the PCB board. We can connect 5 servers at a time to this board and run them all simultaneously. Now connect battery to the board. There we go, the compass is working very well. We can charge the battery by using this PCB through a micro USB cable. Just connect the battery to another two pins nearer to the charging module to charge the battery. A blue flash indicates that the battery is fully charged and red flash indicates that the battery is charged. I have made a box with plywood and made a compass holder using MC to keep circuit inside it. Now let's keep the circuits inside the box. First keep the PC board and tighten up it with the two screws. 
Next, put the ESB8006 on the PCB board. Just keep the battery inside and connect the compass. There we go, the smart compass is ready to work. If you liked my project, do like the video and do share the video so that it will reach to many members sooner. And that last subscribe to my channel, those who are already subscribed, thank you so much. And activate bell icon to never miss out any update. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.